Got it, crib, got it, job, on it, did I ever Up next with Shanae Get my legs and hips and body, body, body Wax Package in the mail And I'm excited to open it because Say something, do you buy it? Nah, I'm cool. She didn't look like she wanted to be like, wink if you need help. Like, let me know something. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and begin the vlog. I decided that I wanted some chicken and steak fajitas, but the lazy way. So I went ahead and took this Caesar salad that I had in the refrigerator and cut up the lettuce. That way I could do like a little side salad with some pico de gallo on the side. Since I've had the VSG surgery, I rarely, if ever, eat any rice and um, bread. So I didn't bother with the rice and tortillas for this recipe. I found this bag of steak fajitas in the refrigerator section of my local grocery store. So I figured I would give that a try. So here I am adding that to the pan along with my oil. And I forgot that I had frozen pepper, so I actually added that second but i typically would have sauteed the peppers first and then added the steak so i let that heat up and then i went ahead and added a mixture of some of my favorite seasonings together and then i went ahead and added some beef broth as well And then pretty much the same with my chicken fajitas, adding the oil to the pan, and this time I sauteed the peppers first, and then went ahead and added the blackened chicken strips that I found in the refrigerator section. Same company, so I went ahead and added that, heated that up, and then added my seasonings and the broth as well. And I was not sure about these refried beans in a pouch. Like I didn't know <laughs> what to expect. I had never had them before and I couldn't find the ones that I normally get. Um, I couldn't find that in the store. So I was like, okay, let's just go ahead and try these out. And they act, they look nasty, but they actually were pretty good. Now I added my own seasoning, so I don't know what it tastes like, you know, by itself. But um, yes, yeah, so I just went ahead and did that. And it was, um, it was pretty good. It was obviously simple. You squeeze it out the pouch and stir it up and that was that so um i liked it now if it's something that you want that is low carb this ain't it this these beans are not low carb i think it was i want to say like 20 something i don't remember but if you're looking for low carb then i would not do the beans i would just do the um the side salad with the chicken and steak fajitas so here I am just going ahead and making my plate. It actually turned out to be really, really good. So I enjoyed it. I think for me, um, because I had the VSG, I cannot eat a lot. So I think I had like a few bites and then I set it aside and came back to it later. And then I still had plenty of food left over to eat for the next couple of days. And of course my family ate it as well. So we enjoyed it. It was good. It was easy, pretty simple and straightforward. I 
just got a new package in the mail and I'm excited to open it because for whatever reason I've been looking all over Media Man I love that movie when I was a kid everybody was in it Don Cheadle of course Robert Townsend, Bill Cosby James Earl Jones like everybody was in that movie like do you remember Media Man I don't know why it's not on any of the streaming services but I had to watch it I have family in town this weekend and for whatever reason they haven't seen the movie makes no sense to me so because I was so pressed to watch it, I ordered it from Amazon. And it came in. It's here. And they only had like the Blu-ray player version. So I bought the Blu-ray disc. And because I don't have a Blu-ray player, who does nowadays? I went to Walmart and I bought a Blu-ray player. So we're getting ready to watch Media Man. I'm super excited. Real quick, this is the takeout that I got to eat while I watch Meteor Man. I got the grilled fish topped with the shrimp skewer. It came with some hush puppies on the side, and then I subbed the rice for mixed vegetables, and then it also came with a piece of garlic bread. It was all right. And this is the moment where he becomes Meteor Man. And if you haven't seen it already, I mean, you're 95 years behind. You need to catch up. I was getting so sick of looking at this bare wall. So I decided to go ahead and put up some of my favorite photos of the kids and I. I wasn't really sure of how I wanted it placed on the wall. So I kind of played around with it until I got it to a point of something that I could live with. And since I had family in town, I kind of had them guide me in um, how to put it up there and make sense of it and make it look halfway decent. So I think it turned out pretty good. Good morning, y'all. I just woke up, so I decided to go ahead and start getting myself ready. So I had a busy day. So just brushing my teeth, washing my face, getting myself together. And this cleanser is one that I got from my esthetician that she recommended for me. So I normally will combine that with the daily microfoliant. Um, so I use those two together. And then um, I typically will follow up with a second wash. And I'll use the CeraVe Renewing Essay Cleanser that I like to use um, on my face as well.
And then I'm just following up with my toner. Um, I have this first uh, toner that I use. I honestly, I'm not sure. I've tried so many different toners. I think this one's okay. I can't say whether I'm crazy about it or not. I haven't found one that I'm absolutely crazy about. <laughs> so if there's one that you guys recommend, please let me know. After my toner, I went ahead and used the Tatcha uh, Dewy Moisturizer. I actually got this as a sample um, from Sephora on my birthday, but I really like it. So I need to go ahead, once this runs out, I'm going to go ahead and get the larger bottle because this one so far has really stuck with me. I like the consistency. So this is one of my faves. And then, of course, I just went ahead and put a little moisturizer on my lips, my little lip balm. And then I typically just seal this off with this rose hip serum oil. All right, I'm done with brushing my teeth and washing my face. I'm getting ready to throw something on because I need to take Ariana to um, get a physical today. She wants to run track and field, so she has to get a physical to be cleared. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and take her to school. And then I gotta run some errands. And then I also have a wax schedule for later today. Um, getting my, I typically go every month and get my underarms and uh, my legs as well as a Brazilian wax. So I'm going to do that today. And then I got a few other errands to run. So um, let me get dressed so I can get out of here. <laughs> my stomach is growling, so I need to eat and then um, go ahead and take baby girl to her appointment and then drop her off and go run my errands and make it in time for my wax appointment. All right, talk to y'all later. You ready to see the doctor? Yes? Turn it down. I'm done, so put your shoes back on. Yeah, put your shoes on, big girl. All right. Got it. You need help? Okay. You got it. Yep. Stop it. There you go. All ready? Okay. All right. Let's go. Ready to go? Alright, so I had to pull up on Whole Foods real quick. I really came in here to get some vitamin B. I used the Mary Ruth's um, vitamin B. I have the spray and the dropper and I really don't feel like it's doing anything. So if you guys know of any good vitamin B, please let me know so I can holler at that. Otherwise, I saw the ultra uh, digestive enzymes that Mary Ruth had, but I didn't get it because I already have some at the house. So I just wanted to see what this one was all about. But I have another brand at home. Then I saw a few of the lemon, ginger, and cayenne shots. So I got some of those. I typically make them at home, but I'm all about convenience. So I picked some up. And as I was walking around, I saw this Pacifica brand. They have the um, Glow Baby Booster Serum that has the glycolic acid and vitamin C. And then also the Wake Up Beautiful Retinol Serum. So I went ahead and got that. And then I didn't record everything after this, but I basically went and got some bath bombs and my favorite, which is the teriyaki seaweed. It was time for some monthly maintenance. So I went to Wax in the City to get my legs and hips and body, body, body waxed. <laughs> no, I'm kidding y'all. I went in and got my legs, my underarms and a Brazilian wax. Tonight is the night of the Houston Rodeo, so I'm just getting myself ready before the Uber arrives. And I went with my sister. They had it here at the NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. And there is um, 
with bull riding. They had horse racing. They had the little ones on the mutton. And at the end, they just let you, you know, have them stand up so you can see that they're okay. They let you know they're good. The star of the show, of course, was the Southern Takeover, which is Bun B's concert that he does here in Houston with all the different people who came out. They had Big Crit, David Banner, Trinidad James. We did like the largest swag surf ever. Um... There was so many people there, juvenile. It was really, really good, y'all. And then they did a tribute to all of the rappers who passed um, in the last couple of years. And of course, they had to do a shout out to Pimp C. And then to top it all off at the end of the night was my girl, Erica Badu. So anyways, I posted about this on my Instagram. Look at Scarface, love Scarface. So if you have not followed me on Instagram, go check out my new Instagram page and follow me. All right, so I literally keep a bag of frozen cucumbers in the freezer. I normally will cut them up right before um, they get ready to go bad. I'll cut them up and I'll put them in the freezer um, and just keep them for however long. And I will use them for skincare. I typically will wash my face and then um, rub them all over my face. I'll take like one slice, take like one out and then rub it all over my face. And then I um, also use them to sit on my eyes. So yeah, keep you a bag of frozen cucumbers just in case you ever need it. So I just took these out the bag. And these are a nice size to like cover my eyes up with. Um, so these three were stuck together. So I'm gonna use two of them on my eyes. And then the third one, I'll just use over my entire face and just rub it all over my face and show you all how I do it. All right, so, okay, so this is the cucumber and it's thawed out quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. So normally what I'll do is I'll just rub it. It's cool. So it's still pretty frozen as you can see. Like I can't bend it or anything. It's still pretty frozen. So you normally just rub it over your face like this. What kind of charge that hoverboard? See, I have marks on the side of these. So I have marks over here, so I normally put it here. And I'm in the guest bathroom, so the mirror is this way, so I'm facing this way off, but that's pretty much it. So, and then by the time I'm finished, like it's really, you can see it's starting to like drip, so um, it's ready to go ahead and throw this out. And we just put it in a napkin, throw it out, and that's it. And I'll normally let it dry, and then I'll go rinse it off for like 15 minutes or so and be done with it. But I'm getting ready to put it on my eyes. I don't know if you can tell, but when I went to, last night when I went to the um, rodeo, I don't know what it was, but instead of driving, last year I drove to the rodeo. This year I was like, okay, instead of driving, because it was crazy, it's like, 80,000 people there. So I was like, instead of driving, I'm going to go ahead and take an Uber down there. So this time we hired an Uber to come. So like as soon as I got in the car, for like whatever reason, I started like itching. <laughs> and I was like, why am I itching? Like my hair was itching. I didn't really think nothing else. I'm like scratch my hair a little bit. But I kept doing it. So I was like, Zach, I really need to wash my hair, which I just washed it like a week ago. So I was like, okay, that's odd. But then once I got into the arena or whatever, Got into uh it was at NRG Stadium. So as soon as I got into the stadium, like I'm like, my neck is itching, my back is itching, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? So anywho, I got home and before I know it, like I wanna say maybe about within an hour after getting home, like my eyes start swelling up, like my eyelids were like starting to swell. And I was like, what the so I went ahead and took some Benadryl when I got home. Shortly after I saw noticed that I took some Benadryl and I went to bed. So it's went down quite a bit, but I can still tell that they're swollen. So that's why I'm getting ready to put the um, the cucumbers on my face so that I can bring it down some because I still see a little bit of swelling 
I feel like in my eye, uh, in my eyelid area. So I'm getting ready to. So I wanted to interrupt real quick and just point out something that I'm noticing now as I'm editing this footage. So um, I didn't realize this at the time. It's not just my eyes. I mean, even the left side of my face is quite swollen. Um, and initially I was thinking like perhaps the guy has sprayed something, you know, maybe cleaning the car out after the last guest um, that came in the Uber because I started itching when I got in the Uber, like my hair was itching. So I don't know. That's what I was thinking initially. But then my sister was like, oh, you know, because of my eyes, she had assumed like maybe it was like makeup that I had used. But earlier that day I went to Ulta and I had got like three new products I had tried, um, well, actually, I got the collagen vitamins from CVS, but I had tried two new products at Ulta, which was like a moisturizer and a makeup product. So between those three, I don't know if maybe it was something along those lines, but I don't know what happened to me. But obviously, you can see it here that the left side of my face is swollen as well. So that really threw me off. And thankfully, I had already done the Benadryl and then I even did it. Um, later on that night, again, after this footage, when I went to go to bed, I went ahead and did the Benadryl again. So that helped. Quick story. So, um, I remember, what's the name of that stuff? I remember one day, um, like right before trip, I was getting ready to go on with my then boyfriend. Um, I had had like, my eyes had like swole up and I looked crazy, like almost like a distorted picture. Like I looked crazy so only thing i could think of that it might have been that would have caused it um was like a couple of days before i had went to the dermatologist and i was telling her that i started like having breakouts and stuff so she gave me um not salicylic acid but it's like whatever the one that starts with a b and it's a lot stronger um i think it's like 10 percent or something like that i can't think of the name of it because i never used it again but um anyway she gave me that to like use on my face so i had used it like the night before we got ready to leave so that's why i think that's what it was because the next morning when i woke up when i tell you my eyes looked wonky like i looked crazy and i decided that i was going to go in and work like a couple of hours before we go to the trip because i'm running i got a few things i need to do so just do a couple of hours then leave come home and we're going to get on the road when i got to work they were like whoa like <laughs> what's wrong and i'm like i know i look crazy so I literally came and knocked a few things out and I left, right? So we were going to be gone for a while. And we were going on a skate trip. So, and then I got home and he was like, your eyes still look like really puffy. And I was like, I know. So we drove down there. We get to um, like the little ski lodge or whatever. And we are at the front desk. And the lady is literally looking at me like, because he and I walk in. And... I didn't think about it, but I guess I probably looked like he abused me, like he beat my head. You know what I'm saying? So she's looking at me and she's like, <laughs> she looked like she wanted to be like, wink if you need help. Like, let me know something. Like, do you need help? I was like, oh my God. So like the more she kept looking at me, I was like, wait, let me just let her know. Like something happened, I had allergic reactions or something. Like everything's good. I had allergic reaction. I was like, actually, can you tell me like, where could I go so I can get some cucumbers nearby and get like some tea bags. So anyways, what I ended up doing was a combination. I think I did the, the cucumbers for maybe about 15 minutes. And then I just did black tea. I got like a black tea bag and um, I put that on my eyes and instantly it was gone. And I was able to enjoy the rest of the trip. So I think maybe like right after we got there, went and grabbed the stuff. And then within an hour, I was good. And then we got a chance to go enjoy all the festivities and everything that we had planned to do. But I was looking crazy and I never used that stuff again. So, um, so anyway, so now that I know that, you know, my eyes had swelled up last night, only thing I could think of was like, maybe he sprayed something. This was a guy, the Uber guy was like, he had a Tesla. So I'm thinking like, maybe he sprayed something beforehand. I don't know, like, you know, maybe something to make it smell good. I don't know. But whatever it was, that's something I can think of is like I started instantly itching when we got in the car. So it was weird. But anywho, since then, I've been fine. I haven't had any that minute since I took the Benadryl. But I still feel like my eyes are like a little swollen. I don't know if you can tell. Maybe it's just me. It looks nothing like it did last night. But it still looks like a little. To me, it still looks a little swollen around here.
So like last night, this was like swollen. I had like whelps up here, crazy. And then this one was just swollen like right here. Um, and otherwise this eye was fine, but this eye, like, so anyways, I'm getting ready to go ahead and put the remaining two cucumbers on my eyes and show you how I'll do that. And hopefully it'll come down and um, go from there. So we'll see. Say my name